Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, it is a uh, Sunday afternoon and I'm out at the schoolyard next to my house and I was just doing some uh, obstacle avoidance testing. Uh, this drone amongst them and actually it did much better than I thought. Uh, however, uh, I've got another fully charged battery and uh, what I noticed about the Hubson Ace Pro is I charged this battery oh well over a month ago and I don't know if you can see that it still has a full charge on it uh, so I need to fly it need to get it down to a storage charge uh, and I haven't really flown this guy in a long time so let's put it up here let's fly it around and uh, look at a few of the features that that, that this drone offers now uh, the Hubson Ace Pro is the same thing as the EXO Blackhawk Pro same drone this is the one that's offered uh, outside of North America uh, to the rest of the world. Uh, but at any rate, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air and let's just take a look at it and just have a little flyabout. We got, you know, a lot of the leaves are gone down, but there's a few fall colors left. Uh, let's, uh, let's get this guy in the air and let's check it out. Okay, the drone is saying ready to fly. Let's look at the status list here. It says we're connected, not asking for uh, any calibrations. Optical flow state always says poor quality uh, until you take off. Uh, and no, we don't have an SD card in. We're going to be recording to internal memory. You cannot start recording until you take off with this drone. So uh, let's get it in the air here real quick. Okay, I see obstacle avoidance is already off. Let's go ahead and do an automated takeoff on the app. No obstacle avoidance. Please fly with caution. Yeah, and it gives us gives us a warning it gives us a lot of warnings but gave us a warning to uh, uh, that it didn't have obstacle avoidance on uh, so anyway let's uh, in fact I'm gonna turn it around the other way and we're gonna do a little uh, before we start recording here this is a little trick I'll show you on I'm gonna put it into uh, recording mode and we're gonna start recording and we're shooting in 4K30, by the way. And uh, I'm going to show you how to synchronize uh, audio and video. Setting the controller down, and I'm going to clap. And that way, the video on the drone, the video on the Action 2 camera, and the audio that I'm recording to this mic, I can sync them all up easily. Uh, so anyway, just a little trick of the trade. Uh, Let's turn this guy around. We need to do our droney, don't we? So, uh, man, this is a loud drone. I forgot how loud this guy is. Let me uh, drop that gimbal down. And I, I turned the gimbal uh, speed up a little bit, but reverse and up. Yeah, and it's doing pretty good. We got a fairly uh, stable horizon. Might be a little crooked, but it's not bad. And I am in normal mode. We're going about eight meters per second. I see a little bit of stuttering on uh, FPV. Uh, in fact, I am going to stop for a second. I'm going to go into my iPhone. I'm going to put my iPhone in airplane mode and see if that helps. I should. Oh no, that's excuse me. I'm on the. I'm not an iPhone. I'm on my uh, my Android phone. So let me uh, see if I can. Uh, figure out how to do that on my Android phone. Uh, yeah, to put it into airplane mode. Let's go down here. Do not disturb airplane mode. There it is. So we turned airplane mode on. And then let's see if we can get back to that app. Get back in the app. So we got airplane mode on. Uh, I can tell you, you know, I'm usually I fly this guy with uh, with my iPhone. Uh, what I found out the other day is my iPhone 15, it just would not connect. So I, I've got a, uh, an Android phone. I've got a, uh, uh, a Google Pixel 6 that, uh, that I just have just for situations like this, uh, you know, where I, where I need to, uh, uh, where an Android phone, where an iPhone just won't work. So uh, for flying drones. So let's see if we can do an orbit here. We're in normal mode. Let's just see if we can see if I can manage an orbit around my favorite cell phone tower. And yeah, 
it's doing fine. The uh, the the, the uh, controls on this uh, Hubson is uh, particularly on their newer drones has had uh, pretty good uh, pretty good uh, uh, flight controls. Uh, I don't think anybody beats DJI, but uh, but this isn't bad. You're seeing I'm easily able to uh, to do an orbit there, and like I said, our our horizon is looking pretty darn good. Uh, let's uh, let's throw this guy in sport mode here, and let's get a little look at the uh, speed on this thing. So we're going into sport mode now, or expert mode, as it told me on the screen there. Let's see how fast this guy will get up to. That is full stick forward. I'm seeing about 15, eh, it's getting close to 16. Are we gonna hit 16? Well, we hit 15, nine, 16 meters per second there. And I'm gonna come to a stop and I kind of, uh, yeah, my, my FPV screen started kind of uh, getting a little blotchy there. And in fact, it is. I. I am not that far from the drone either. I don't, yeah, okay, now we're, wow, so we spun around, we really spun around there, so sorry about that. I, I'm just telling you, I couldn't see it on the FPV screen. It was, uh, it got pretty blotchy. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, that's not good. And again, uh, we're in, uh, you know, I've got the, the drone in, uh, or excuse me, my phone, in airplane mode, so it shouldn't be any inter interference. Yeah, I mean, my FPV screen is uh, kind of just kind of going in and out, but uh, in any case, let's get a look at the Boise front over here, go over the top of uh, Discovery School. And, uh, you know, like I said, my uh, we, I think we have a little bit of a crooked horizon. Let me pick that camera up just a little bit so we get a little more sky. But that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, and, you know, this guy does have a, uh, a zoom slider on the right-hand side of the screen. And, of course, it'll just be cropping in on the sensor. But let's go ahead and see if we can zoom in. That's 1.9. I'm picking the camera up so we get a better look at the mountains. So 2.5, and again, that's just cropping in on the sensor. And what I wonder here is will we see that on uh, what's recorded to the internal memory on the drone? I know I'm seeing it on my FPV screen, but on some of these drones, that's the only place you see it. Okay, we got plenty of battery, 65%. This guy has some, some interesting... Uh, Hubson traditionally has always done pretty good with their intelligent flight modes. So, uh, so let's go, let's, let's do a, uh, uh, see if we can take a look at some of those. Bringing it back, I'm going to bring it right over the top of the cell phone tower here. Boy, I t oh, I'm in sport mode. That's what's going on. Uh, yeah, I was, ha I was struggling with the yaw there, and I just realized I was in sport mode. So let's, uh, let's pull it forward here, and let's get right over the top of this guy. And we're going to see if we can set that as the, uh, as the center and, uh, and see, if we can do, uh, see if we can do an orbit. Uh, I like how they, uh, if you look up in, on the screen recording, if you look up in the top left, it says AI next to the little picture of the drone. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let, let's go into uh, orbit mode here. And we are going to set uh, the map location as center. So you can either set the remote or the map location as the center. We're going to set the map location. And then we're going to click Next. And it's, well, I didn't, want, I didn't really need to go into the map, but... Uh, well, that's interesting. How do we get out of that now? Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to click orbit mode. I had not seen that before. Set a map location, but what I want to set, 
Oh, set the, okay, here's what I missed. So I could have gone into the map. That's something new. So that's something they've updated. So at the very top there, set to the drone's current location as the center. So that's what I want to do. So we're going to click next. And uh, we're going to, uh, wow, it's got a 82 meter radius. That's odd. Okay, so let's, uh, let's click on that and see if we can change it. Current radius, 85 meters. What the heck? Okay, we're going to try this again here. I'm going to get out of there altogether. Let's get over the top of this. This, is di this has changed from the last time I used this drone. They've, they've updated this app. So if I get over the top of it, I should be able to go into uh, orbit mode. And it, when I, so uh, I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go back into the drone's current location. And then I'm going to click next. And that current radius, where do I set that at? What it used to be is you just backed up the drone and return immediately. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. I'm just going to do what I used to do. And I'm going to back the drone up. And we're going to click that return immediately and see what it says. Well, it, it's, yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, I, I'll be damned if I know what it's doing, guys. It's moving sideways. Current radius, 100 and, yeah, I exited out of that. Uh, you know what? That's something I'll have to study. Uh, they have changed uh, the way this operates, so, uh <laughs> Boy, that, that really threw me. I, man, I don't know what, the drone was moving sideways. It sure wasn't doing anything about an orbit. Let's, I don't know. That, I'm, I'm really curious now. Of course, we're burning up a lot of battery doing this. Uh, but, you know, I, I did this, I've done this with this drone a lot. So we're going to go into orbit mode. Set the drone's current location as the center. Okay, center point orbit. Next. And then current radius, it says 84 meters. And then at the bottom, it says return immediately. So, I don't know. So what's it doing? It's just moving sideways. Time per orbit, it says 8 minutes and 49 seconds. Let me speed it up. I don't know what it's orbiting. Maybe. Well, it is turning now. Okay, I set it up to the max speed, which is three, three meters per second. And I'm going to hide that. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's, so, so you know what? It's centered on me. That's what it's doing. I'll be darned. Uh, so even when we told it its current location, it's centered on the controller. Okay, let's click stop. So anyway, that, that is clearly a defect because it, what it did, was doing was an orbit around the controller and that's why it said 81 meters. So uh, that's pretty odd, okay. Let's, uh, let's bring this guy back here. And let's put it in normal mode. We're just about out of battery. Uh, well, I messed around there a lot, but so I figured out what happened there is it was using the controller as the center, even though we were telling it that it, it should be the geographic point. So, you know, clearly that was a flaw in the uh, in the app, uh, and that's why that's why it had such a di long distance that I couldn't figure out that 81 meters. Uh, that was really odd. Okay, we're going to go back into AI here, and we're going to see what else we can find here. I know we have uh, some creative video. Let's take a look at that. Please stop recording before operating this function. Well, we're not going to do that. Uh, 
Okay, I'll tell you one thing else this drone will do is it will, uh, it will follow you. We're down to 37% battery. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to land it. Uh, I'm going to put it in return to home and let's see if it'll get a uh, precision landing here. So let's back it up again. Uh, gosh, guys, uh, that was pretty weird and I, and I apologize for all that messing around in orbit mode, but uh, at least we figured out what was going on there. Okay, we're out here a ways. Uh, welcome to Hudson Drones. I'm going to hit uh, return to home on the, the uh, app. And I want to go back to the attitude indicator on the app and take off point. So click OK. Return to home. And let's hope it comes back to its takeoff point. Let's see what it does. Now, this guy is supposed to have precision landing. And I, I know on other uh, Hubson drones, you have to shut off recording to get a precision landing. But we'll see what this guy will do. Uh, see if it opens point its camera straight down. I think it will once it reorients here. Yeah, it, uh, it isn't. It's not pointing the camera down, but it looks to me like we're going to be pretty safe here. Oh, there. Yeah, so it's not pointing the camera down. Yeah, I may not have had precision landing on. Yeah, well, we got a landing, and and you saw on the uh, on the Action Two camera, uh, we're pretty close. So, uh, any and the other thing I like is it stops recording automatically. Uh, okay, uh, let me get everything shut down, and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the Hubson Ace Pro. Uh, well, that was a kind of an interesting flight uh, you know it was an excuse to uh, to use up the battery on this thing because the battery did not auto deplete I charged them up I'm not kidding you over a month ago and the battery was still full so I uh, absolutely needed to get it down to a storage charge uh, so uh, this flight went okay and you guys will see the video so you can make up your own mind it's kind of a gray day today so not a great day to get great colors, but you can see we had some leaves and interesting things. Now, uh, trying to do that automated circle flight uh, was weird. Uh, it, it, eventually, what I figured out it was doing, I was trying to get it to use the map point, and I've done it many times on a lot of hubs and drones, so I'm very familiar with the app. But what you do is you fly it to where you want the center to be, you say, okay, this is your center. Then you back the drone off and you start the orbit. Well, you saw I selected the point that the, the drone was at for the center. Uh, but what it did is it automatically started, uh, it, it automatically orbited around me with the controller. That's what I couldn't figure out because it said that the orbit distance was 81 meters away, etc. Anyway, finally figured out what it was doing. We wasted a bunch of time with that. I uh, looked at the zoom a little bit, uh, but uh, anyway, just kind of gave you a little flavor of the Hubson Ace Pro. I haven't flown it in a long time, uh, so it was just time for a flight. That's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out, and if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video, and of course, we will see you on the next one. Bye now.